All right, we're back. Playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Duel Academy. I need to do the rest of the time duels. Because it's fun. It's fun. I've got 23 left. And I can't progress through the game until they're all done because game design. Let's do it. This is just what I need. A nice little puzzle. X Head Cannon, Mystic Tomato, Catapult Turtle, Luster Dragon, Coffin Cellar. Each time your opponent's monster is sent to the graveyard, except for your damage your opponent's life points. Okay. I can afford some of that. Catapult Turtle. Let's have those tribute. Go half the monster's damage. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Half the tribute monsters attack to your life points. So let's see. 500. 700 and 900. That's not gonna be enough. Not, not gonna be enough at all, right? Just short. So who do I need to take out here? Hang on a second. 500, 1200, then that's um 100 short. Unless I just did mental math wrong. Z metal tank. All right. So I just need to bring out not Sangen. Maybe you are sucking my deck, join your opponent, add your hand, then shuffle your deck. I think I know what I need to do. I need I think I know what I need to do. Can't attack you. So I immediately need to go into Hmm. What's in my extra deck? How do I even get that out? XZ cannon. What's its effect again? This monster can only be special summoned by removing the lady above monsters in any polymerization. Discard one card from your hand and strong one face down, spell face down. Okay, that effect is completely worthless. I do not need to summon this. I do not see, think, see how I need to summon this at all. Hmm. But I do need to bring out Sangen. The only way I can do that is if I attack Mystic Tomato in there. I, I'll reset if I need to, but let's see here. No, this isn't going to work now, though. Let's see. I'm not so, so sure. Activate effect. So I'm going to get rid of sand again. Which causes you to come here. And I bring you... Each time a monster goes to the graveyard. If I just now, I can't you no, I can't use this thing because I don't know if I get rid of both monsters. I wonder. This would result in a tie now. Hmm. I don't know if I'm fully understanding this. Now, hang on a second. If I contact Fuse, do these go to the graveyard, or do they stack? No, they're not materials, so... Is that going to special summon removing? Removing from play! Ah, okay. Okay, that is that is what I want to do, then. I thought they went to the graveyard. Coffin Cellar specifically is when they go to the graveyard. Let's see, here we go. Okay, then. So, if I sacrifice you now, that'll be just enough. Activate effect. Yeah, I'll take 300. You take 1,200. But then I activate this. You take 500, and this way, I still have life points left. Succeed. Excellent. Look at that. Look at that. 79. There's a ritual monster there. I have to do a ritual exam soon. Shinato, king of a higher... King of a higher what? King of a higher plane. There you go. Call of the Haunted. Guardian Angel Joan. When this card destroys a monster, increase your life points equal to the amount of attack of a destroyed monster. Wing Weaver, six-winged fairy, and praise for peace, peace and hope. All right, then. Big numbers. Hane, Hane. 
One monster card on the field, regardless of position, and return it to its owner's hand. Mystical Space Typhoon, Premature Burial. Festalos, the Fire Storm Bella. When this card is tribute summoned, successfully discard one random card from your opponent's hand to the graveyard. If the discarded card is a monster card, inflict damage to your opponent's life points equal to the level of the monster times 100. Interesting. So I, I can make use of that. Ancient Gear Golem. This card cannot be special summoned when it attacks a higher defense position monster. Inflict damage to your opponent's life points. This card attacks your opponent and activates spell traps. Alright, so I don't think I need you. What's in here? Jinzo. Blue Eyes. Well, bringing back Jinzo is not going to do anything. We know how that works with Call of the Haunted. It doesn't just destroy Shinato. So we need to bring Shinato back to the hand. With Hane Hane. I think that should be good. Then... Will you chain? Uh, no. Do that. And I need to summon you, right? When this card is tribute summoned, from your card's hand, if this card is tribute summoned, card to your opponent's life points times 100. Hang on. Randomly discard one card from your opponent's hand. Do I have to discard anything? No, I don't. It's just tribute summon. So, alright then. Sacrifice Hane Hane. Bring you out. And then. Bam, you take 800 damage. Now I can't, I can't beat over those things. So I need to bring out Blue Eyes, I think. Deal some damage with that, but... Or... Special summon when this card attacks a higher defense. There's more difference your points, life points. I can't, like, flip them into defense mode or anything, so... What was Shinado's effect? Maybe I was supposed to check that. I don't think it was it worth it. Let's see. When a defense pitch monster opponent's side of the field is destroyed and sent by the graveyard by this card, as a result of battle, inflict damage to your opponent's life points equal to the original attack of the destroyed monster. Okay, that's not going to help me at all. Okay, but if I bring out Blue Eyes, I can't beat over everything in the same turn. Ancient Gear Golem. Jinzo's not going to do anything. I'm kind of confused. Obviously, I'm supposed to bring back Blue Eyes here, because Jinzo doesn't just get rid of Shinato by getting rid of uh, Call of the Haunted. Uh, no, 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 don't do that, no. Hmm. Let's see. Thousand to four. Yeah, what can I even really do here? I mean, yeah, I could use MST, but then, yeah, I need I need to go back. I shan't. It's not. Sh it, it's a trick to put use that effect for Shinato. Hmm. Let's start over here again. Standby phase? Alright, I'm just gonna MST and bop it. I didn't think it'd be that simple. Let's see, there's fire. Premature burial. So let's see, then I can get rid of... They're both the same level, so get rid of the stronger one. Let's see, Guardian Angel Joan. You go away, and let's see. Then I can summon you. I think this is, I think I know, yeah, this is gonna work, this is gonna work. Yes, yes, I got it now. Now I just premature burial, blue eyes again. Perfect. And I use Blue Eyes to get rid of you, and attack directly with uh, the Firestorm fella. Destroy. Look at that, we're gonna get through these puzzles easy. Easy puzzles. Baby puzzles. Baby card game puzzles. Overkill. Okay, let's see. 80. 
Oh boy, three face downs. I wonder what they're gonna be. Golem. I yes, move over, move over, jeez. Steel idol warship in the land of machines. Can't see its stats though. It's 1800. Okay. Man eater bug, lightning vortex, Bokatayo. Flip one face down monster in the face of attack. All right. Sukiyomi. Just flip summoner fifth face up. Discard from normal summoner. Flip summoner. Flip face up. Flip one face up monster into face down defense position. Ah, I see. Fatal Abacus. As long as card remains on the field, each time monster card is sent from the field to the graveyard, inflict counter points of damage to their respective card owner's life points. Magician of Faith. What's in my graveyard? Swords Revealing Light? Um, what is flipping? That's not, that's not gonna help me. Where is it? Discard one card from your hand, destroy all face-up monsters. Maybe I should do that. Go for Maneater Bug or Sukiyomi? I can just try both ways and see what happens. But, one face down, but... Hang on a second. Let's see... When this card is normal, summon flip summon or flip face up. Alright, so I summon you. Let's just see what happens. If I can flip them all face up, then use Lightning Vortex, that should help, but... One spell card and list your hand. Swords of Revealing Light. Let's see. And we play swords. Okay. Then, let's see. Lightning Vortex, Book Tayo. Face down monster into face up attack position. So. At that point, I destroy all the monsters. He takes 1,500. Um, okay then. Then he's got 1,400 left, so I can attack. Oh yeah, I got him. I got him. It doesn't matter which of these I discard. Yep, all right, now I can finish him off by attacking directly. And with this, we wrapped up uh, the second last level. There's a spider crawling on the wall again. There's like, that's like three episodes in a row I've seen one. I don't know if it's specifically been Yu-Gi-Oh, but I keep seeing it. There's, it's just, it's just sitting there menacingly. On the blank wall, I can see it. Like, I can't unsee it. It's just in the corner of my vision at all times. You, come here. At least go somewhere else. Okay, I made it go away. Good. Alright. With that, we have 20 more to do. Oh boy. Once again, I can't- I can't progress until these are done. This ain't my fault. Jinzo, Spell Canceler. Well, I guess I know what the Penguin Soldier, huh? A DD Dynamite. Inflict 300 points of damage to your opponent's life points each time opponent's cards have been- Each time- Each of your opponent's cards have been removed from play. Needle worm. Ooh. Card destruction. Both players must discard their entire hands and draw the same number of cards. Soul release. Spy cards in your opponent's graveyard and remove them from the current duel. Banisher of light. As long as card remains face up on the field, any card sent to the graveyard is removed from play. All right then. So we summon this thing in attack mode because there's nothing else I can really normal summon. Or is there? Maybe. Actually. No. I think this is a trick, chat. I, I think this is a trick. So I need to summon this thing. Then I summon Needleworm. Right, right, right. But no, that actually wouldn't work. That wouldn't work. Using Penguin Soldier to bring him back wouldn't really do that because I need a way to turn. I'm overthinking it. I need to. Uh, these two have to go to the hand. I can't really- I don't think there's anything ridiculous I can do by targeting my own monsters. I was thinking- trying to think outside the box here. But I can't use my spell or traps until they're both gone, so... And then I activate card destruction, but first I should set this. Alright, and hang on a second. Is DD Dynamite? Okay. Hang on. Okay, so I want everything to be removed from play first. 
Hold up a sec. Wait, 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 wait. Did I just... Did cars not go to the graveyard? Okay, five. Five. All right, good, good. I was wondering if I needle worm wrong. All right, now you got two cars in your hand. How much does your deck got? Fourteen. Well, that's not gonna help you. Soul release. Now let's see if this works. Uh, select the five cards from... All right. Your graveyard, then. Those, that's what those five are in the graveyard for, for this. Mechanical Chaser. Mechanical Chaser. Mechanical Chaser. Force Raider. Force Raider. Yeah, I'm doing dual puzzles. I don't have a choice. I have to do all 100 or I can't rank up anymore. And now I should use DD Dynamite. Put damage your puzzle. I can each card removed from play. And there's no way to remove any more cards from play, I don't think. Unless they have... No, there's... These don't have effects for that. Oh, yes. Okay, and these t these guys should finish it off, I hope. Let's find out. Oh, boy. Okay, yep, just enough, just enough. I did it. Puzzles solved. 82. 19 more to go. Standby phase, what do I have to activate? Backfire, spirit barrier, all right, this stupid thing I misread before. As long as I got a monster, I have no battle damage. Ring of destruction, select a monster card and inflict direct damage to your opponent's life points. All right, you and your opponents. When a fire monster is destroyed, sent to the graveyard, inflict higher points of damage to your opponent's life points. Molten behemoth. A giant born from magma, it attacks with a magma punch. UFO Turtle. When this card is sent to the graveyard, it's real to battle. You may select a fire-type monster. All right, time to loop fire monsters, I guess. Mass Dragon, Mass Dragon, UFO Turtle. Okay, so go into the UFO Turtle, then Mass Dragon. Then loop all of my Mass Dragons to do what? Uh... Direct damage your opponent's attack. You like points your opponent's? This thing, what, Buster Blader? Increase the attack of this card by 500 points for every dragon monster in your opponent's side of the field and graveyard. Okay. What is that gonna do for me? Do I have to... Do, oh, I have to pick his monster. I thought I have to choose one of my own monsters. I see, I see. Alright, I know what to do. Let's see now. Molten Behemoth is a giant born from magma. There's no reason for this thing to attack. Or is there? Do I need- should I flip it up? Is there any reason for it to be face down? I don't think so. Fire monster is sent to the graveyard, right? Hang on. It's destroyed and sent to the graveyard. Inflict 500 points of damage to your opponent's life points. So I can just ram it into it, so flip it for now. Oops, I'm a monster. Alright, so now I just start looping the attacks. UFO turtle. Smash into that, and I take no damage. You declared an attack? No, I won't. Get rid of that prompt. All right, let me just fix my seat here. I need to be in comfortable position to solve puzzles. UFO turtle is active. No, I don't want to activate that. Special summon to the field. Has to be another UFO turtle. Now we do it again. It takes the backfire damage. This is a little bit of an annoying one, ain't it? A little bit of a slow one. No chain. Yes. Another UFO turtle. Okay. UFO turtle attacks this thing again. For another 500 points of damage. Backfire again. Nope. No. I'm trying not to accidentally say no to the special summon, because then I have to start over. But it keeps asking me to chain that stupid trap card. I don't want to do that. Thing, ring of destruction. I need to use this on Buster Blader once it's been powered up to its 
strongest form. Buster Blader attacks into you. Or you attack into Buster Blader. No. Okay, Mass Dragon. Okay, backfire. No chain. Yes, special. I do not like when they make me loop cards like this. These, this is so annoying to do. Let's do it again. Powering up Buster Blader with this. No. Alright. Card is gone. Take 500 damage again. No chain. Yes, special summon. I, if I accidentally say no to the special summon, I have to start all over, so I'm trying to be very careful. No. Okay, so... Basically, it's the attack stat, right? Use much card to destroy monster attacks. Oh, okay. So next, these two will d drop it another... Wait. Another 1,000. Did I do something wrong? Let's see. Card destroyed monsters equal to this, both you and your opponents. Let's see now. 41,000. Wait a second. I take no damage. This should be fine. It says field or graveyard, so it's not going to change the, change it either. Change it right now. Hold up a sec. Hold, hold, hold up a sec. Is this... I think I may have made a mistake here. I think I made a mistake. No card you can special summon. Um... Crap. 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 This wasn't going to get stronger. I was supposed to sacrifice it then, and then attack him with both the monsters. Now I have to start over. Great. Alright, wonderful. I love this puzzle. Very fun. Very, very fun. Okay. No, no, no. Get, that. Get up there. I'm going to loop, and then... When I'm at the last dragon, then I ring a Destruction Buster Blader, and then I do it again. Or, then I attack him. Alright, well, let's do this again. <sighs> I don't like this one. Uh, no. Okay, no. No, no. I have to be careful not to hit the wrong thing, and I'm frustrated now, so I'm very much likely to do that. Okay, no to the chain. Yes to the special summon. I can't just mash the B, B or A button, otherwise it's gonna be real annoying. Now we do UFO Turtle again. Oh man, this is this is a nightmare. No. UFO Turtle attacks again. No. Cow. Very fun puzzle. I love it. Five hundred. No, no. No chain. Yes to the special summon. I thought I was done the UFO turtles by this point. Just be careful. Just be careful. Just be. Just be safe. No, I will not declare an attack or an effect or use an effect. All is fine. All is right. All is wonderful. No. Yes. Then we special summon Mass Dragon. Oh, I cannot wait for this one to be over. I cannot wait for this one to be over. No. This is menu hell. No. Okay, take 500. You chain. No. Yes. If I hit, if I if I say no to the special summon, I have to do it all the all from the beginning. So I'm trying not to mess this up. But I, I'm so tempted to just mash the button and be like, go away. Okay. This is the last one. No. Five hundred. Here you go. No chain. Yes to the last special summon. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Summon, activate the trap. Okay. 
Now we use Ring of Destruction on Buster Blader, because it's as strong as it can possibly get. And I'll still have enough life points after that. And these two attack. And it'll punish. Oh, thank goodness, that's over. <sighs> that was very annoying. That was very tedious. We've already been going for 25 minutes. How ma was that? How long was that puzzle alone? Jeez. Main phase one. Okay. Catapult turtle. All right. Finally, I can do burn damage. I like burn damage. It's fun. Sanctuary in the sky. Battle damage to a controller. And fairy type monster from battle. Bomb that fairy type monster becomes zero. Big koala. Huge species. A huge desk koala. He's meek. People are afraid of him. Okay. The normal monster. Catapult turtle. I can just flip you up, but I want to keep you down. Polymerization. Moki, 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 Moki. All right. Uh, I can play the Moki, Moki King, I guess. Moki, Moki. When this card is removed from the field, you can special summon as many Moki, Moki from as possible from your graveyard. All right. So I catapult Turtle, and then I just send them all there. Polymerization. Moki, Moki, Smackdown. While a face-up Moki, Moki is on your side of the field, if the fairy time monster on your side of the field is destroyed, the attack of all Moki, Moki on your side of the field becomes 3,000 until the end. Oh, boy. So hang on a second. Let me reread that. On your side of the field. Okay, not Moki Moki King. If a fairy type monster on your side of the field is destroyed, attack. Hang on. If a fairy type monster on your side of the field is destroyed, the attack of all Moki Moki... Hang on. I don't think I understand... The, the order of this. I'd have to call... I could bring back Moki Moki King. That's what I need to do, I think. Okay, for now, I'm just gonna... I think I understand this. I think. But usually, that's what they... These puzzles, they want you to think one thing, only for you to act, end up doing another. They're trying to trick you. They're out to get you. Special summon a monster. Activate the effect of, uh... No, 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 no. Hang on, what's the effect here? This card is removed from the field. Okay, so not when destroyed, so I can use the burn damage of Catapult Turtle. Tie the tribute. Direct damage. Okay, flip summon you. Flip summon a monster. Okay, so... Next, I activate the effect on Moki Moki King, because he's being removed from the field. Okay. No. Then... Can I special summon Moki Moki? Yeah. Moki Moki, look at it. Such a friend. Okay, you take a tiny bit of damage. Now let's see. Now, Moki Moki Smackdown works if a fairy type monster on your side of the field is destroyed. Is destroyed. And, okay. Okay. So now I call the haunted Moki Moki King again. And then I have to attack into that monster to destroy it. And I'll take no damage. Alright. You destroyed. Everybody gets a boost. 3,000. And... Yes, 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 yes. Now I can attack over Big Koala. And was it till the end phase, or what? Yeah, until the end phase. And I attack this, I guess. Everybody gets to attack it. This be enough when I catapult, though. I, I miss anything. No, I don't think. Did I? All right. Now we main phase two. Still have the big boost. We activate effect. Moki, Moki one. 
Oh yeah, I got him. We got him. Moki Moki 2. Then we do this. And we Moki Moki 3. And then we Moki... And then we Catapult 4. Succeeded! Look at that. Big boy puzzle time. Standby phase. What do we got? Giant Germ. When this card is sent in the graveyard, inflict 500 points of damage to your opponent's life points. You can also take cards of the same name of your deck, especially some of them in face-up attack position. Oh boy, I wonder what's in his deck. Two copies of Giant Germ. You can flip this card in face-down defense position once per turn during your main phase. When the attack of a monster on your opponent's side of the field that attacks this card face-down defense position is lower than the defense of this monster, the attacking monster is destroyed. Okay, so what's your defense? Alright, so if I attack into him with lower defense... Attack him on your side of the field. Attacks this card face down. Is lower than the defense. All right, so just don't attack into it if I'm too weak. Axe of Despair. Mataza the Zapper can attack twice during the same battle phase. Control cannot switch. Attack uh, Axe of Despair. So let's see. Warrior returning alive. Select a warrior type. Premature burial. What do I want to bring back? What do I want to revive? Exiled Force. Marauding Captain. As long as this card remains face up on the field, your opponent cannot select another warrior type monster in your side of the field. Attack target on this card, normal summons. You can special summon level 4 lower monster for your hand. Alright, so I want to bring him to my hand and revive you. Offer this face up card in your side of the field as a tribute to destroy a monster. This card. If this card is used for a tribute to this card or are offered as a tribute, this card is not epic. Yeah, okay, just that's just problem solving text. The puzzles love the zapper guy. Yeah, they really do. Just like they love Blue Eyes Ultimate when they need a big beat stick. Okay, so Marauding Captain with Warrior Returning Alive. There we go. Then we summon you. Then we special summon this is the Puzzle Zapper. Okay. Then I need to premature burial. The Exiled Force, but... Let's see. Yeah, I think that's it. Something like this. Exiled Force. Let's see now. Offer this face-up card on your side of the field to destroy one monster on the field. Okay, so I can do that to get rid of... Let's see, just Axe Mummy, I guess. Giant... No, I need to do that to Giant Germ. If I attack Giant Germ, I lose. So, alright. But wait, destroyed by battle? Sent to the as a result of battle. Okay, so obviously Axe of Despair needs to go on uh, Mataza the Zapper because he can attack twice, and that's gonna be near necessary. 23, okay, exile force, activate effect. The germ goes away. Then I need to attack. That, the, the Axe Mummy with Mataza the Zapper. Get rid of him. Pow. Then we should attack, and th yeah, this should be exactly enough. It's amazing there aren't more keywords in this game. Like, just say double strike or something. Yeah! Remember how, like, before they the cards said piercing damage, they always would, would flat out describe how how piercing damage worked for on every card that had it? Piercing was a good idea. Alright, let me get a drink here, and we'll keep doing this again. Wish I could have mixed this up a bit more, but I didn't realize that the game was going to make me jump from doing half of the dual puzzles to literally all of them. Spell Canceler is never fun. Hmm. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, chat, when things start going back to normal, hopefully I can go up and play real Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Maybe that could be fun. Let's see now. 
2,000 defense. What's the significance of that? Huge re revolution. This card can only be activated during your main phase when people run about. Uh, okay. Basically, let's hand the graveyard. Wait, 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 what? Send all cards in your opponent's hand to the graveyard and destroy all cards your opponent controls on the field. I have to have. Hang on. Is it all of them? Oh, yeah, all three of them have to be on the field. Send all cards to your opponent's hand to the graveyard and destroy all cards your opponent controls on the field. That's pretty... That's like Ojama Delta Hurricane for the people. Tsukiyomi. Hang on. The last one must be in here. Bokuichi, the frightening car. People running about. People running around. They're running around. Okay, so let's see. Premature Burial, Monster Reincarnation, you call the Haunted. So let's see, Spell Canceler is a problem, so obviously I have to use Call of the Haunted to bring back the monster. But that seems a little too too easy. Tsukiyomi doesn't seem like very point. I think Tsukiyomi's a trick to make me, uh... I, to make me think I need to get rid of Spell Canceler. But, something isn't right here. Premature Burial, I have enough life points for it, but why would I do that? Destroy everything and just attack them. Can that work? Hang on, what's the attack points? 1,400, 1,400. That's not going to be enough to attack. Hang on, hang on, I don't think I understand something here. Twenty. I, I, I think I'm missing something. I need to premature burial Sukiyomi back. Don't I? Premature burial doesn't let me target their monster. I need to use it, but... No, this can't be special summoned. No, I, I see, I see. I need to... I need to... I understand. I think I understand this. Do I? Um... Or do I? Yes! Let, let, let me just... Hang on. I think they're trying to distract me. So I think I knew, do need to do this to Spell Canceler. Okay. Now that I've done that... Then I activate... Monster Reincarnation. And... Let's see, then I discard you. Then I take back the car. Let's see. Then I use Call the Haunted on one of them. Running people. People are back from the dead. Then I use Premature Burial on the other one. That, this way I can have four monsters on the field instead of just doing it the other way. Let's see, then I activate this. Hang on, let's see. S destroy everything on their field, basically. Can't summon you. Put you in attack mode. And this should be more than enough. I I think I did this right. If I didn't do it exactly this way, I'd be left with three monsters on the field and not four. Okay, there we go. Oh boy. Tricky. Tricky, tricky, tricky. But I managed to do it. Fifteen more to go. Standby phase. Let's see. Standby phase. Activate the effect of Spell Trap Monster. No. Let's see. Giant Germ. White Magical Hat. Shining Angel. 
Dreams to the Doomed. Just run and face up monster, skip your next draw phase. Well, good thing that doesn't apply at all. Here, Maternal. Oh, no. Don't, don't, don't make me do that. Please, please don't. You're not, you're not really gonna do that, are you? Oh, I don't like when you make me do that. When this card is sent to the graveyard, the result of battle, inflict 500 points of damage to your opponent. And then summon all the germ. Let's see. I got a normal summon you, but hold up a sec. Am I missing something here? White magical hat. Okay, these attack into each other. Wait just a minute here. This card sent to the graveyard. Oh, I see. You have a uh, stuff to loop through too. Welcome to loops. Why do you have to be a quick play? Great, it's gonna prompt me every single time. And I can't adjust the settings. Oh, why game? Why do you do this to me? All right, first, we get the germs. White magical hat. You declared an attack. Activate the effect of a spell, trap, monster. Uh, no. No, indeed. Pow. Germs, baby. Maybe we chain? No. Okay, 500. I will special summon a germ to the field. I will special summon a germ to the field. Okay. Now, these things each have a thousand attack, but destroying them only burns them for, uh... 500 so why would I do why would I take the bait and do that when let's see shadow ghoul Pyramid turtle is what 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 zombie type monster with defense of 2,000 or less all right cool So Shadow ghoul is the one I end the combo on and let's see Gains a hundred points for each monster in the graveyard. So yeah, keep the germs on board. That's a trick Pyramid turtle Attacks into this thing. No. How? I take 200 damage. No chain. Yes, special summon. Here, Eternal Shadow Ghoul. Put in attack mode. There we go. Not gonna activate stuff yet. Let's see what he does. Uh, no. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Do, 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 do. Chat, is Twitch being weird or is chat just dying? Like, it seems like chat just, like, permanently freezes for me. Did everyone just collectively get bored and leave? Back to Pyramid Turtle. No, I don't need the chain. Yes, special summon. Shathis may be dead. Possibly. Last pyramid turtle here. So let's see. Special summon a monster activate the effect. No, no, no. I was eating. Everyone suddenly be like, no, no, I'm here. I promise. I'm here. I'm actually here, man. They didn't want to disturb my thinking. No attack. Just do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Excellent. Pyramid Turtle. No chain. Yes. Select a monster. Shadow Ghoul. Okay, 2,000. Ah, oh, yes, I have just enough now. So now I now I use this, but what else is in your you still have more monsters in your deck for this, huh? Offerings to the dudes. Select a monster to destroy. You And now we attack for game. Pow.
cow. Yeah. Yeah, we win. Succeeded. Alright, how many more is that? How long was I on that puzzle? Oh boy. This is taking forever. Let's do this one fast. Injection, Fairy Lily. Cards effect only activated during the damage step of either player's turn. Pay 2,000 life points to increase the attack of this monster by 3,000! Uh, 2,000 life points, but I don't have that many life points. The Ban Nightmare. While there are no cards in the hand and spell trap card zone, this card's controller increased the attack of the, this card by 1,500. Okay. No cards in the hand and in the spell and trap card zone of this card's controller. I see. Okay, we need to get you on board then. Gilosaurus, you may treat this normal summon as a special summon. If you select a special summon, your opponent may select a monster card from his or her graveyard. Okay, so what do you got in there? Let's see. Metal armored bug. Metal armored bug. Metal armored bug. So you know what happened is somebody was about to use three blue eyes white dragons again. And then someone at the office walked by and said, Hey, dude, try at least try and mix it up a little bit. Let's see. Another of the band nightmare. Ooh. Premature burial. Smashing ground. Emergency provisions. Sends one spell or trap card on your side of the field to the graveyard. To increase your life points by a thousand. Premature burial. I can't afford to pay the life points, but... It obviously wants me to... Maybe. Obviously, the special summon is is definitely what I need to do. So we'll summon you. Metal Armored Bug is here. So let's see. The Band Nightmare. Do I need to Smashing Ground? Premature Burial. Smashing Ground. Do, it, do I use it, or do I... Hmm. Smashing Ground only destroys one monster. I'm wondering. I need to wait. What? How? What should I use for gaining life points? Maybe is it? Maybe maybe the extra nightmare down there is. You know what? I think the Gillosaurus is is a trick. But at the same time, I need it out of my hand. So, in order to get the Band Nightmare's effect going. Because I can't normal summon this unless I special summon this, so okay. The question I'm thinking now is, how do I gain the extra life points to, for L Fairy Lily's effect? Huh, let me think, let me think, let me think. Like, do I put these two cards just face down and Emergency Provisions one of them? Let's see. Do I do that to Premature Burial? Quickly with this card. When this card is destroyed, the monster is also destroyed. Hmm. Maybe I can do it after it attacks. I think that's what they want me to do. Because Fairy Lily is the damage step. has to be nothing no it has to be nothing in the spell or trap card zone of course the very existence of premature burial doesn't let the band nightmares effect activate hmm no i definitely did this wrong i definitely did this wrong Let's see smashing ground it's activated there you go there are several face-up monsters with 15 defense from outside the field. Select it one. That one, I guess. Okay, so clearly this didn't work out the way I want it. Hmm. I mean, I have no choice. I have to use emergency provisions on premature burial now. I definitely didn't do this right. This one's gonna need to require some brain power. Okay, 3,000. Wait, what? Oh, you stayed? Okay. Well, I guess I was thinking about that all wrong. I thought you were gonna go. 
Another victory by the technical wording on the card. Well, alright, I guess I figured it out. So, let's see. In the damage step, pay 2,000 life points, increase the attack of this monster during the damage step. Okay, there we go. So, let's see now. I guess it doesn't matter which one attacks first, right? Okay, so... Let's get this out of the way. Attack it. Start to calculate battle damage. Yeah, I'll activate an effect. Your effect. 1,000 life points, and you gain 3,400. Alright, then we attack with the- Oh yeah, I actually got it. I actually got it. Then finishing off with this. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Succeeded. I did it. First try. 88. Let's do it. I'm nearly halfway done this section now. Okay, back to square one. Back up soldier. You can this card when there are five more monsters in your graveyard. Select the three cards. You're going to add them to your hand. Oh, boy. What is in my deck? I don't like when there's lots of... Oh, Exodia. No one's ever been able to summon him. Painful choice. Oh, wow. I actually get to use this card. I never thought it would happen. Select five cards from your deck, show your opponent. Your opponent must select one card that will be added to your hand. Discard the remaining cards to graveyard. Monster reincarnation. Got it. That's for Skull Servant. Yeah, that was Skull Servant. Back to square one. Discard one card from your hand. Return monster to the field to top of the owner's deck. Mystic Tomato. Sent to the graveyard. Blue Eyes White Dragon! Oh no! I can't attack the tomato into Blue Eyes though, because. No, actually, I'll have enough life points after that, won't I? The question now is, what am I gonna do? Mystic Tomato only lets me special summon a monster. I need to get Skull Servant out of there before I use Painful Choice. Do I? Do I? I don't know, actually. There are five more monster cards in your graveyard. Selected three monster cards to attack 1,500 or less. Except Effect Monsters. Ah, I understand. I understand. I understand what I need to do. If not, I can always reset. That's the, my motto. We can just go... Hey, listen, chat, remember. If you ever do anything wrong, just play the song of time and go back to when it all started. Nobody will remember anything. Ever. Okay, Skull Servant, because I don't want those Exodia pieces on the field. I need them in my hand. All right, then tomatoes on there. Let's see, backup soldier back to square one. Monster reincarnation. Turn, discard one card from your hand to turn monster to the field to the top of the owner's deck. So if I use painful choice now, five cards from your deck, show to your opponent. Your opponent must select one card that we added to your hand. Discard the remaining cards in your graveyard. And he's never gonna pick the effect one. So now I need to monster reincarnation. Wait a second, do I? Discard one card. I think maybe I did this wrong. Hang on a sec, actually. Monster attacking this creature is returned to the hand. Oh, maybe I should have checked this card first. How about that? No, Exodia pieces have to be in my hand. I'm almost positive. Let's see whose hand contains other pieces. There you go. So, let's see, I need to ad I Um... So I think this is what I need to- hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. How do I get the head? into my hand. I have one monster card from your grave in your hand. I guess, I need, I think I need to see what they'll pick every time. Will they pick, will they pick the head? I don't think I fully understand in this one. Oh wait, what? Right leg, right leg. All right, there you go. 
decide. Left leg of the forbidden one has been selected. There we go. Monster reincarnation. Now I need to attack the wall with the tomato. I think I'm doing this now. I took damage. It's back to my hand. Then let's see. Backup soldier is when there are five more screws and three monster cards. Wait, three? I thought it was four. Oh. Crap. But I have I'll be able to have two, right? No, 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 wait, I'm misunderstanding. I'm misunderstanding. Can I activate this now? No, I cannot. There's still you in there! You're still in there! I need to use monster wait, what? Oh, it's still the battle phase. My mistake, my mistake, my mistake. Monster Incarnation. I do this. I discard the tomato. Then I take the head. Let's see. Left head. Then I... Wait, what? I don't have five yet in there now. I don't. No, I do not. I do not, you idiot. I can back to square one, but I have to discard a card from my hand. Um, I have to. I have to discard the normal monster. I see. I don't know. Because the, exo the effect monster is the only one I can't bring back. So I guess blue eyes. I don't think it matters which one I pick. Okay, now I can activate it. Good, good, good. Backup soldier. Three cards. No, I didn't do this right. I didn't do this right. I did not do this right. I can only take three. And with that, I'm left with... Four. I'm left with four. I need to start over. Look at that big timer they give me for this one. Okay, I'm a little stumped. What do I need to do here? What do I need to do? I think I need to attack with Mystic Tomato, bring out Exodia's head, then attack Wall of Illusion. I think that's what I where I messed up on. I have those life points to use for a reason. Because I think if I pick anything but the head, it's, um... Let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna have 50 life points left. Big Puzzle. Of the puzzles. Okay, now okay, now you safe and in my hand. Now Now I need to use painful choice where let's see, I have five left in my in my deck, so wait what? Oh right, right, it's battle phase. Let's hope this works. Painful choice. So now you're gonna do this and he's gonna pick Skull Servant, probably. But I probably really have a choice. Right. Oh, wait, what? You gave me that? I think I hate how this one requires me to know what the AI would pick for painful choice, because I'd assume it, it would either pick an Exodia piece or a Skull Servant, one or the other. Okay, so I do that, and now it's just going to let me have the other three cards? Is it? Is it that simple? I think it was. I thought, okay, I was overthinking the Skull Servant part, I guess. One, two, three. All right, I did it. Exodia. Obliterate. Give him the Big Bang, Kumi Hummy Ha. The entire time I was thinking that when using Painful Choice, that 
the AI was going to pick Skull Servant because that was going to be the option that would disrupt me, disrupt me the most. Like, I kind of didn't like how that one depended on knowing what the AI was going to choose for that because I kind of assumed it would pick whatever was going to mess me up, but it was kind of helping me. Twelve more. Let's do it. Let's see. Mystic Tomato, Shallow Grave, Book of Tayu. Flip one face down, monster in the field into attack position. Nobleman of Crossout. What do we got here? Axe Mummy. Don Zalug. Oh boy. I don't like you. Slate Warrior. Flip increase attack defense to by 500 points. Attack the dead, so monster destroys monster as a result of battle. Decrease by 500 points. Okay. Let's see here. Graveyard, Gravekeeper, Spy. You may select a monster that includes Gravekeeper in its name and has attack 1,500 or less from your deck. Special summon in face of attack defense. That should be then shuffled. Alright. Let's see. Gravekeeper, Spear, Soldier. This card attacks from attack is higher. Your... Okay. Piercing damage. Cannon Holder. Offer this one monster that includes Gravekeeper in its name. Tribute to cause 700 points direct damage to your opponent's life points. However, you cannot offer this card itself or any other Gravekeeper's Cannon Holder with this card's effect. As tribute, neither kind monsters used for tribute summon be offered. Oh my god, this problem solving text. Or rather, pre problem solving text. I, I don't know. I don't remember what the actual term is. If that's before. If, if problem solving text is referred to as before it was all jumbled or after. See Mystic Tomato, Nobleman of Crossout. So if I destroy Axe Mummy, what's gonna happen here? Nothing. So I guess there's no reason to not use this. It just destroys his monster and it's gone, but then there's Dawn's Luke. When this card reflects battle damage, your opponent's life points, you can select one active one effect, select one card from your opponent's hand. Send two cards from the top of your opponent's deck to the graveyard. Shallow grave. Take a monster card from the respective Graveyard and special summon the face down defense position. Okay. I'm not really sure. Up one face down monster in a face up attack position. This one's making me think a little too much, don't you think? Okay, so it seems obvious that I need to use the shallow grave. Let's do that. Select a monster from the list. Go in the graveyard. Gravekeeper spy. But do I use Nobleman of Cross Oak before or after? Shallow Grave. I guess we'll find out. Flip. This thing's weak. Definitely weaker, so I want to do that. But, let's see. Hang on a second. Select a monster who Gravekeeper in its aim and has 15 or less... Uh, from your deck and special summon it in face of attack or defense position. This card deck should then be shuffled. Alright then. So I pick a monster with that, but do I want to do that? I'm not really sure. I want to have an empty hand and empty deck before I attack the tomato into anything. So let's see here. Wait, what? Oh, I can't flip you unless I use this this turn. Let's just try this. This one's gonna take me a little trial and error here, because I'm not entirely sure I follow exactly everything. Which one of these should I pick? This card attacks, attack. Okay, so this gives me spear damage, or piercing damage. And Gravekeeper's Cannon Holder. Inflicts 700 points to direct damage to your opponent's life points. You cannot offer itself. Alright then. So let's see. Take you. I, wait, I think I, I think I get this now. So now I summon you. Now, I need to use Nobleman of Crossout on the mummy here because its defense is 2,000. Hang on, what is your, like... It's a five-star monster. Hmm. attack. Hang on. This, yes. I'm not misunderstanding something, I hope. Hang on, the tomato is... 
This card inflicts battle damage to your opponent's life points. You can select a big one falling effects. Okay, that doesn't matter, since it's going to clash with the tomato and won't be doing damage. And if it goes to graveyard as well to battle, you can special summon the dark monster. All right, so then we have an in instance for that. Now, let me see. I go to battle phase. I let the spear soldier attack you. Pow. Okay, there's some damage there. Now you get weaker, that's fine. Then the tomato crashes into Don Zalug. Then I get to bring out the cannon holder. Yes, I will. Then these two attack, and then on main phase two, I use cannon holder's ability to just uh, finish him off. I hope. Did I do it? Is this enough? No, yes. Oh, yes, yes, this is enough. Activate effect. Okay, thank goodness, because I was, wasn't was sure if I was following everything I was supposed to do here. Oh, sorry, I feel myself starting to get a little headache. Okay, 11 more. Let's do this. Let's do this. Exiled Force, Total Defense Shogun. Oh, not you again. I don't like you as a you. Premature Burial, Graceful Charity, draw three cards, and then discard two. Oh, great. Mage Power for every spell and trap card on your side of the field. Increase the attack of the monster by 500. Millennium Shield, Millennium Shield, Millennium Shield. All right. Total Defense Shogun. What do I have? What are the three cards I need to draw? Big Bang Shoot, Marauding Captain, Mataza the Zap. Who's surprised? Who is surprised to see these two again? Okay. Let's think. Let's think here. Exiled Force. Offer this card. Face me side of the field. Destroy a monster. All right. So this is a free bop, but... Do I... I don't think I want to do that. Do I... Do I want to premature... I think maybe I want to premature burial exile force? No, no, because if I sacrifice it... Hang on. As a tribute to destroy... Hang on, let me check this wording again. When this card is destroyed... Okay, so if I tribute with exiled force's effect, I shouldn't remove premature burial from the field, if I'm understanding this correctly. I think that's how it works anyway. I'm not entirely sure. Okay, let me see here. Let me see here. So, uh, you're not... I don't want you to attack. So, I need to discard these two monsters with Graceful Charity. I think. Oh, Dual Masters. I ain't never want to do that again. Exiled Force, Total Defense Shogun. And we decide. Okay. Now, I need to summon Marauding Captain... Okay. Then I special summon Mataza the Zapper. Then, let's see. Hang on a second. What was the spell? Obviously, I need to use Graceful Charity. That's not getting used. So now I need to Premature Burial, Exiled Force. I have life points for it. Hopefully I got this right. Let's take a look. Oh, boy. I hate that I had to do, like, 50 of these all at once. But we're going to get it done, and then we it's going to be nothing but smooth sailing after this, folks. Just bear with me. This is where I'm putting your putting. You should put your money where your mouth is when you said that you'd wa even watch me read shampoo li shampoo labels. Instead, you'll read me. Instead, you get to hear me read uh, what Mataza the Zapper does over and over. Because you know it can attack twice in the same battle phase. Interesting stuff. Anyways, um, here's the issue though. So, I put Big Bang Shot on Mataza, and then I put Mage Power on it, and that should give it quite the piercing effect, right? Yeah, that's a big number now. Now... 
That should do just enough, if I'm not mistaken. If you don't want to reach the final ranks, yeah, smooth sailing. Hey, my FTK deck will help, I hope. Maybe. I don't know if I'm going to go for final, final ranks, but hey, I'm clearly doing a lot now. Alright, this should be enough. Let's see. Hold up a sec. Hold up a sec. I think I just fucked up. Yeah, I just fucked up, didn't I? Darn over. I was supposed to use the effect a main phase. Dang it. Whatever, I know what to do. This isn't too hard. I hope. Discard two cards from your hand. Exiled Force. Total Defense Shogun. You get away from me. I don't like you, Mr. Defense Shogun. You're a weird card. I don't like weird cards. No, stop being weird. Marauding Captain gets summoned. Sure, you can go ahead and tell me the requirements for Prince of Games and King of Games. Special Summon Mataza the Zappums. There you go. Then we're gonna Premature Burial. I need to make sure this works. Exiled Force. Activate effect to get one of the shields. Oh, it went away. So much for the wording on that, huh? Now I need to start over again. All right, then. When this card... Let's see, let's see. When this card is destroyed, the monster is also destroyed. Okay, well... I tributed Exiled Force. I didn't destroy it. Does that count? I guess that's the same thing. I hate the wording on cards. It's dumb. It's stupid. I don't like it. Okay, let's see. I, I, this thing's effect isn't what I think it is. Don't worry about that. Exiled Force. Hmm. I wonder, I wonder. I have to, I think I, oh, I think I know what I need to do. I understand now, I understand. I have to, I have to discard Mataza and premature burial him. Total defense Shogun, because he's useless in this whole equation. Mataza the Zapper, check. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Uh, now let's see, Exiled Force is there. I have used my special summon on you. Special summon a monster to the field. Exile force. Attack position. Then we activate effect. Just get rid of one. Then we premature burial Mataza. It's always about Mataza the Zappa. Okay, we put the Big Bang Shot on him. Then we use the Mage Power. And we make him super strong. And this should be... Yeah, this is exactly enough. Alright, Mataza. Destroy them! Destroy the Millennium Shield! That is definitely one of the Millennium items in the anime and Mango. Bop em. We're almost there, chat. We're almost there. We gotta get there. We need to finish all puzzles, because Konami dem demands it. Thank you, Konami. I can't wait to see what else Mataza the Zapper is for. All right, ten more. Blinding light. Let's go. And my phase. Main phase. Blue Eyes White Dragon. Of course, Blue Eyes White Dragon. Mother Grizzly. This card is sent to the graveyard. As result of battling, mislike a modern monster on the attack. To the 50 hunter or less, your deck special summon at face up. Attack position! Okay, so just Mystic Tomato for water monsters. Why is the bear a water monster? No, oh, it's so weird. Increase attack while light monsters by 500 points and decrease their defense by 400 points. Salvage. Add two water monsters with attack 1500 or less from each of your graveyard to your hand. A legendary ocean. This card's name becomes Umi. Downgrade 
all water monsters in both players hands and on the field by one level Increase the attack and defense of all water monsters by 200 points. Let's see here Catapult turtle of course catapult turtle is here Call the haunted it's in my graveyard. Oh boy. Oh no, 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 no Too many things to think about I don't need brain power right now why is a turtle and a UFO a fire monster? I don't know. May why do you why do you care so much? Legendary Ocean. Maybe maybe you should just mind your own business and let the turtle do its thing. Next exam is rituals. I already made the ritual deck. Gush go gosh golly, I can't wait. Gosh, this game can be a little tedious sometimes. Which water monsters do I want to add to my hand? You ask me, so if I with Mother Grizzly's effect, I definitely need to summon Catapult Turtle. That is no question what I need to do. Now, I think Starboy is probably a good option because he increases attack by 500 of everything. I can call the Haunted Amphibian Beast because he's the 6-star. Look at the life points he needs to take away. Oh, it's 8,900. Let's see, what does Fenrir do? This card can be special summoned by removing two water monsters. Okay, this definitely needs to go to my hand. When this card destroys opponent's monster by battle, your opponent skips his or her next draw phase. Well, that's not going to come into effect here. When I go back to doing real duels, I'm going to be re really thrown off by the fact that my opponent gets to do things again. When this card normal summon. You can, let's see, increase your life points by 19 or 1,000. The card destroyed. Take 2,000. Another Mother, mother Grizzly isn't going to help me. <sighs> so, this thing, if I can add it to my hand, I'll get to special summon it. So, I'm thinking Fenrir and... Hang on a sec. 200 points. I'm gonna try this, first of all. First of all, do I have, like, a special effect to get rid of, it, get rid of monsters? in one of these that I missed. Mother Grizzly Granador? No, I don't. <laughs> Obviously, I need to replace this field spell. There's no question of that. Your card is gone. I'll take less life points when I attack into you now, but wait, no, I don't want to attack into you. Why would I attack into you? Then I'll lose. I can't use Mother Gri Grizzly's effect at all. I was completely- I didn't pay attention to my own life points. I need to use Starboy. In order to increase my attack power enough to beat over Blue Eyes. So let's see now. You can chain. No. Or did I need Granadora for this? Hmm. Normal summon star, but let's see what happens when I do this first. Shh, I'm not so confident in this now. Hang on. Let me bring out Amphibian Beast now. Or do I? No, I need to bring out Catapult Turtle. So if I bring back Amphibian Beast, that won't be enough. That won't be enough damage to overall. If I bring out Granadora, then I can loop into Catapult Turtle and use the... Oh, I think, I think I... Hang on. Is it Normal Summon? Special Summoned. I'm gonna try this, because I need that life point gain. I think it wants me to do that. Let's see, then I special summon Fenrir. Decide. Select card position. Attack mode. Alright, now can any of these things get rid of blue eyes? I don't think they can. I think I just messed this up. I think maybe I was on the right track and I fell for the game's stupid distraction. 
No, this doesn't. Is it? Hang on, wait a second. Is it when this car is destroyed? Okay, good, good, good. Catapult Turtle is safe here. Yeah, I think I definitely did this wrong, but I may as well see how see what happens if I continue this way anyway. First, take the damage. Wait, 900. Wait, 900? Oh, did I miscount? I miscounted because I didn't have Star- I didn't have Starboy. God, that's- that's where my mistake was. That's what my mistake was. God dang it. In phase two. Yeah, this ain't gonna be enough, but just humor me for a second. I- yeah, I- I think I mis- misinterpreted something. That's fine. Nearly enough. Oops, I meant to go to the start over menu. Okay, 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 let's try again. I think I was doing this right. Main phase one. So let's see, salvage, activate legendary ocean. Nope. Pop, boop. You need to worry about the downgrade thing. Now, for salvage, I definitely need Starboy. I feel like I definitely need Starboy. And Fenrir as well. Hang on, actually. Yeah, because the special summon I, I, I can do for him. Two. Okay, Starboy, there we go. Now I summon Starboy. Then... Okay, yeah, I definitely misunderstood that before. Fenrir special. Some water monsters. Now... Yeah. I need Amphibian Beast like I thought. There you go. You're summoned. Get the effect of no, 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 no. So let's see. After that taken care of, I activate this. Give me amphibian beast, please, because that's the only thing that can get beat over blue eyes. There we go, just enough. On land or in sea, the speed of this monster is unmatchable. Okay, so. I need to first let Mother Grizzly get destroyed by Blue Eyes, because have I'll have 100 life points left. Bring out Catapult Turtle, destroy with Amphibian Beast, continue to attack, and then main phase two the turtle. I think that's what I need to do. Mother Grizzly, you attack this. Please let this work. Because I think the Catapult Damage will equal out to an extra... Okay, okay, should be fine, should be fine, should be fine. Yes. Turtle. Yay. Catapult turtle. Now let me see here. Okay, amphibian beast. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Now turtle gets a boost too. Pow. Okay. Everybody attacks. Yeah, I think I got him. I think I got him. Gosh, do I think I got him. Alright then. Now we main phase two. Now I can't- I have to get rid of Starboy and Catapult last. Activate effect. Get rid of Amphibian Beast. Activate effect. Get rid of Fenrir. Activate this. Okay, get rid of Starboy. And we do this. And we win. 
Good, 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 good. Excellent. Nine more. Oh, goody. What do we got? Summon Skull. Fusion deck has what? Black Skull Dragon. So I gotta steal it. Back to square one. Red Eyes Black Dragon. Dragon's Mirror. Rule from play your side of the field. Or your graveyard. Fusion material monsters that are listed on a dragon type fusion card. And special summon a fusion monster from the fusion deck. Okay, summon skull. Polymerization. Okay. Or your graveyard. Not my hand, it says. What do we have in my graveyard? Summon skull, huh? Inscription. Pick up the top card of your opponent's deck. If the picked up card can be normal summon, special summon it to your side of the field. If not, that card is added to your opponent's hand. Alright then, so we get it back to square one. Back to square one red eye with discard red eyes. Summon skull. Then we use hang on, do I have to pay a cost for this? All right, summon skull. I get a summon skull. Then I need to use, hang on a second, for your graveyard. So first, uh, wait, 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 wait a second. Hold up a sec, remove from play. No, 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 I made a mistake, I made a mistake. I think I understand. I can only have one red eyes, so I gotta do this properly. First, I need to poly, poly the, the first Black Skull Dragon. Decide. Two materials. Check. Check. Decide. There we go. Dragon's Mirror. I can just use... Now I have a Summon Skull and two Summon Skulls and a Red Eyes in there, so I can just Dragon's Mirror another one right away. But, hold up a sec. Hold up a sec. That doesn't... Wait a second. I think Dragon's Mirror might be a trick. Because I, I have to discard a card, right? Or did I... Maybe I... be able to deal 6,000, so if I summon another one. No, 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 I think I get this. I think I get this. It's, uh, it's a little tricky. I think I get this. So I need to back to square one immediately with... I have to dis discard Summon Skull. There's two Summon Skulls there. There you go. Then I activate this, and I get a free Summon Skull. Yes, 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 yes. It's very good, very good. Then I use Polymerization. Let's see, because that's, that's gonna go to his graveyard. Okay. Opponents, yeah. Decide. Yes, yes, yes. Then I use Dragon's Mirror. And then I select the Summon Skull and Red Eyes in my in my graveyard now. They're trying to be tricky with me. They're trying to be tricky. And now I have both on board and I can attack her game. See, did it? It's 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 it, this one was simple but very simple to mess up. If that makes sense. All right, chat. We're gonna we're gonna need to put our noodles together. Our instant noodles. They're gonna be very salty and they're not gonna be productive. But they're gonna be, we gotta use the noodles to solve these. Eight more, and we never have to do this again. Just bear with me. If y'all if y'all watch me play three hours of running around grinding smeargles, then you'll watch me play this for as long as it takes. I mean, to be fair, though, we did find a shiny during that stream. Alright, let's do this. Alright. Are you gonna check out for now? Well, thanks for tuning in, Mina. I hope everything goes well with the move as well. Again, uh, for those just joining us, um, starting tomorrow, everything's gonna get really, really busy with uh, moving. 
so I don't know when I'm gonna be doing streams. Um, I don't know, I, I can't reliably know when the internet's gonna be set up in a, in a way at the new place so I can stream reliably. I will be able to keep working on content though, regardless. I can do regular recordings again. Because I haven't done a bunch of those lately because this place is a uh, horrible, a horrible work environment. Especially since the whole shutdown stuff happened. Anyways, Feather of Phoenix. Discard a card from your hand, select a card from your graveyard, and turn it to the top of your deck. Oh boy. Upstart Goblin. Now what do we have here? Tremendous Fire, Megamorph. So I'm assuming it's as Tremendous Fire is on top there. What am I going to get right here? Thousand Knives. You can act this card when you face up Dark Magician on your side of the field. Destroy a monster on your opponent's side of the field. Hmm. Hmm. You found many shinies in the packs. Yeah, but I haven't played no packs. I've just been doing the puzzles. Chat, this is what Cyrus does before the start of every every exam. He's like, man, I pulled an all-nighter, and I'm just like, I pulled in all the puzzles. Okay, I'm just gonna drink water there, sorry. Card is safe return. Wait a second, this, is the, this, this one works right, I think. When a monster is special summoned to the field from your graveyard, you can draw one card from your deck. Interesting. Dedication through light and darkness. You can activate this card by offering a dark magician on your side of the field. As a tribute, select one dark magician to chaos from your hand or graveyard and special summon it. That's Thousand Knives. Dark Magician of Chaos. I like the design of that dude. Skill Dark Magician. There's someone one dark magician from your hand deck or graveyard. I don't have Dark Magician, though. Right? Oh, there it is. I thought this was a- I thought this was a summon skull, I'm sorry. My brain confused this with the last puzzle. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Anyways, what do I do now? Each time your opponent activates one- or you or your opponent, sorry. Put a spell counter on this. Tribute this card with three spell counters to summon a Dark Magician from your hand. Alright, so that's my first goal. Can't use this. I need Dark Magician on the field. Card is safe for turn. We can activate this safely. Start and Goblin, Feather of a Phoenix, discard one card from your hand, select one card from the graveyard, and turn it to the top of your deck. Okay. Which now what card do I discard? I think I need Hang on. Discard no more summon special summon you can act add one spell counter or spell card from your graveyard to your hand. I'm not sure this is destroyed by this result battle. It's removed from play. Is it going to the graveyard? When this card is destroyed, removed from play, removed from the field. Hmm. Let me see here. Hand or graveyard from your or your deck and special summon it. Hang on a second. One card from your hand. Let's say graveyard. Ah, okay. All right, all right. So let me use that feather of the phoenix and discard. Dark Magician of Chaos. Am I understanding this right? I don't know if my understanding is right. I can just bring it back to my hand. You know. But, whatever. Anyways. Was that the right call, though? I wonder. Let's see, two. Indication through light and darkness can activate this. So now we activate Upstart. And knives. Okay, now we activate effect. Special summon Dark Magician. Now, Dark Magician of Chaos does not count as Dark Magician, so I can't use Thousand Knives with it. I need to use. So I need to use. Uh, uh, hang on a second. What did this say here? Draw one card from your deck. Excellent. Thousand Knives. Use that. On Blue Eyes White Dragon. Pow. Now I activate Dedication through Light and Darkness. Pick you. Select a monster to special summon. Dark Magician of Chaos from the deck. Put you in attack mode. Now get to draw a card. Select the order. Does it matter? I don't think it does. Yes, I will add a spell card. I 
we'll add, um, I'm gonna need to draw a second card. So I need to take, I think I need to take Upstart Goblin. Oh, this might be tricky if I'm wrong. Because I get to draw, yes, I only get to draw a Tremendous Fire. When I draw this again, Megamorph. Let's see. Inflict 1,000 points of damage to your opponents and 500 to yours. So let's use that. And then we use Megamorph on Dark Magician of Chaos. And that gives it... Oh, look at that! And look at that, I won. Who is the Dark Magician of Chaos? Or sorry, Magician of Black Chaos. He's just like this weird ritual monster that's related to the Dark Magician. Like, what is he? Is he like his cousin? He's just kind of there. It's weird. He's like the Dark Magician's mentor? I'm not really sure. Anyways, 94. Oh boy. Pyramid of Light. This K. Uh, let's see. If this face up card is removed from your side of the field, just. Destroy Andro Sphinx and Sphinx Talea uh, Tal on your side of the field. Remove him from play. All right. If it's removed from your side of the field, okay. Sphinx Talea. When Pyramid of Light is on the field, you can pay 500 life points to special summon this monster from your hand. This card cannot attack during the turn it is summoned. This card cannot be special summoned from the graveyard. When defense mission monster side of the field is destroyed by inflict inflict damage your opponent's like okay piercing damage. Andro Sphinx. When Pyramid of Light is on the field, you pay 500 life points to summon this card from your hand. This card cannot attack during the turn and summoned. This card cannot be a special summoned from a graveyard when it's been turned. Okay, it's just the same effect. Same effect. Piercing damage. What does it? Hang on. Each of the half the attack. Oh, well, no, no, no. It's not piercing damage. It's, uh, just, uh, yeah, equal to half the attack destroyed monster. I just read that wrong. Can I do that? Half the defense. Oh, sorry, it's not piercing damage. I just kind of assumed because the big wall of text that says when you destroy a defense position. So, what do we have here? Oh, good. Marshmallow. Crimson Ninja. Just select one trap card in the field and destroy it. Just like the card is set, pick it up and see if it is. If it's a trap, destroy it. Hang on a second. I have no choice but to do this. I don't have. So, if I flip it up, I have to destroy. Dark hole. Destroy all monsters. Then in the Great Sphinx, when both Andro Sphinx and Sphinx Talele are destroyed at the same time, pay 500 life points to special summon this card. Also, when this card is special summoned, you can pay 500 life points to increase the attack of this monster by 3,000. This effect lasts till the end of the turn and activate this card, so I think I need to do that. Emergency Provisions, Big Bang Shot. I think I know what I'm supposed to do. I think I know what I'm supposed to do. But, emergency, hang on, what's emergency provisions? Send seller sp spell out trap cards on your side of the field to the graveyard. Okay, so it's not select, it's not targeting or destruction. It's just sending. I hate, I hate how learning the difference between rulings like that. So, destroy these along with, I think dark hole is a trick. Hang on a second, because I need to increase this card's attack by 3,000, then it's at 65, and then the ninja doesn't finish it off, actually. Wait, what? Oh, Big Bang Shot, that's right. I put Big Bang Shot on you, then it would finish it off. So I think I need to set that. And... Yeah, I have to use Big Bang Shot, right? Let me, um, I'm gonna, let me, let me think here. I can reset if I'm wrong. Dark hole. All right. You pay 500 to summon you. Yeah, let me just choose. Then I summon you. Emergency Provisions gives me a thousand life points. And then I put... Hang on a second, Where, where's that effect? 
When this card is special summon, you can pay- Wait, 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 wait. Did I miss timing? Did I just miss timing on that effect? I think I just- I think I did. Ugh. If I was a kid, I wouldn't even have any idea what the hell it mad. Tried before the life points got added, so... I have to use Crimson Ninja for that. Dang it. I hate missing time, and it's so stupid. <laughs> it just infuriates me. Anything that says when and you can... Or, it, that says when and then you can is mistiming. Yeah, if it says when, it means you can only do it when that happens. So if there's some other effect that's resolving, it means you can't do it anymore. Oh. Okay. I love how there's some cards that were printed that, like, they actually missed their timing for their own combo effects because they, they, they didn't even realize how stupid they were. Oh. Anyways. Okay, let's try this again. This time, I have to use Dark Hole for emergency provisions, but I have to use the Ninja in order to get rid of the Pyramid. Let's do that. Remember when missed timing wasn't even the rule books? Chat, what? Quick question. When was mi t about missing timing in the rule book? When was that added? Crimson Ninja has been activated. Will you chain? No. Okay, now let's do it. One of the Guardian cards can do that. Yeah, I know. I think that's the one I'm thinking of. Wait, what? What, what happened? What, what's happening here? Will you chain? No, 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 no. Okay, I misunderstood the prompt there. That's fine. But wait a second. Then I do this here. Hold up a sec. Oh, I should have. I should have. I. I need to start over. I should have provisioned first. I don't have. Yeah, yeah. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. It's fine. Let's see. Set dark hole. Then use emergency provision. Do I? I, I need absolutely require big bang shot. So don't need to send another card. Okay, One thousand. Then I flip up the ninja. Oh, I'm not getting rid of. Uh, I'm not getting rid of marshmallow. I think. I think. I think maybe I. Maybe I'm doing this right. Just let me have my moment here. I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna just defeat him with one hit hard hitting piercing blow. Okay, now I didn't miss time and I can activate the effect. Then I give it big bang shoot. Equip it. And now your effect is after da after damage is calculated. This card cannot be destroyed damage. Well, that'll mean I'll defeat him before that effect activates. Right? This one is really, um... A really make sure you read the damn cards. Come on. Wait, what? Oh. Oh. I did it wrong. I think I need the dark hole. Yeah. It's, um... It's Big Bang Shot. I need to, uh, emergency provision. Or wait. Wait a second. Destroy all monsters. Wait, wait, wait a second. Wait a second. But I need to have a thousand life- more than a thousand life points in order to activate... Finish the effect. Um, hold on, I'm confused here. The early century of the rulebook about missing timing seems to be 2009. Now here's the thing: if I activate, if I activate emergency provisions, 
Oh, yes, yeah, it's probably some chain order BS. I have to activate emergency provisions at the right time, otherwise I won't be able to get all my effects off. So, let's see here. I need to dark hole. It's, I can easily reset. Let's not panic. Two, three, four. Wait. Oh, no. Now I don't even get the prompt, because I set it. I'm an idiot. I set the quick play. I shouldn't have done that. I gotta start over again. I gotta keep it in my hand. Keep it in your hand. Let's put Big Bang shoot down. Okay, that's down. Then I activate the hole. Alright, alright, alright. Cool stuff, cool stuff. Will you chain? Yes. I think this is the spot where I need to use emergency provisions. Because this is before the summon happens. So it won't interrupt the when it's summoned. Oh, I hate this one. Okay, now I'll pay 500. Then I can summon it. Current position there. But then... Wait, wait, hold up a sec. Hold up a sec. Then I don't have enough. I need Big Bang Shot to <sighs> go <Come> on. <laughs> start enough. Start over. Oh my goodness, this is the worst one of all. <laughs> I really don't like this one. Okay, okay, it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry. I only need the, I only need the single boost from Pyramid of Light. I know exactly what to do now. Don't worry. Don't worry. Dark hole is activated. No. Two, three, four. Then I... Okay, your effect activates. Um, then I activate emergency provisions. Then destroy Pyramid of Light. Okay. I get life points. Then I pay 500. Summon you. Select you. All right. Then I pay 500 to give it 3,000 attack, because, you know, that's a cool effect. And I attach it to Big Bang Shot. Okay, there we go. And then we got the big nice number. Oh, no, 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 wrong, wrong, wrong thing. Wrong thing. Oh my goodness, that one was really picky. Get ready to learn about timing. Six left. Oh, goodness. What's what's next? What are they gonna... Th Just give me easy ones now, please. We've been nearly been spending two hours, but the best part is we'll never have to worry about it again. Okay. Just let me think for a second. Blue Eyes Ultimate. Blue Eyes... Ultimate. Wall of Illusion. Goes back to the hand, of course. So that means it goes back to the fusion deck. A snatch Steel. Oh, that means go back to your extra deck. Injection Berry Lily. Dark Hole. Emergency Pro- Oh! Suddenly, the devs are like, Hey, guess what's a cool card? You've heard of Mataza the Zapper? We'll get ready for Emergency Provisions. <sighs> Until the next game, game with Yu-Gi-Oh! Puzzles. Well, that won't be for a while. That won't be for a while. Okay, Blue Eyes Ultimate Snatch Deal. I said I was gonna get these done. We're getting them done. Let's see. Wall of Illusion. People don't like it, they can always just skip the episode. Let me think, let me think, let me think. This is your card, not mine. It's got the red... Okay, 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 okay. Now... I need to use emergency provisions on Snatch Deal to give myself a thousand life points. Like, it's it's kind of weird. You think they would have spread out some of these, these puzzles a bit? Because it seems like the devs clearly, um... They figured out some stuff they could do with one card, and then they're like, hey, do it again for a couple times. Keep using emergency provisions. I know fair I know Lily is how you win, but I need to have I need to at least get rid of two cards, so. Wall of Illusion. 
hang on a second. Hang on a second. What does this say here? Take control of your phone monsters. It's an equip card, so it'll go away if I send this to the hand. I wonder. Yeah, I have to. I clearly need to have 3,400 to win. So let's think here. I think I got it, but it's very convoluted. Oh boy, oh boy. So let me see. If I dark hole, I lose everything. I have to make use of the fact that it's a quick play. So I think, first of all, I need to summon you. I need to set dark hole. Uh, hang on a second. What does the step say? Let's see. Any uh, a monster attacking this creature is returned to its owner's hand. That is some crusty old wor old wording. The monster attacking this creature. Like, is it flavor text or is it uh, effect text? Any damage resulting from the attack is calculated normally. Can you chain Dark Hole with emergency provisions? That might be the simplest solution, but here was, uh, here was what I was thinking. I was thinking Bluey's ultimate attacks into the wall, and then I activate emergency provisions before, um... If this card didn't have crusty wording, I could probably better understand what step I'm supposed to use it. Uh... I think I'm gonna just... I'm gonna try my idea first. I like your idea, though. It might work. Thought that, too. Okay, Wall of Illusion. Wait for the prompt. You declared an attack. The attack has to happen first, right? Okay, attack. Okay. Cards destroyed. Well, will you chain? Okay. Emergency provisions. Yeah, 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 yeah. Quick place. All right. Then wall of illusion goes back to your. Uh, hello. I did it. Take two thousand light points at the damage step. Okay. Direct attack. Activate the effect. There we go. Oh man, the chat. My brain isn't prepared for these types of puzzles. None of this missed time and crap. 96, there we go. Oh boy, what's on this field? Whole Power Ranger squad of cards back here. Autonomous action unit, premature burial, and call the haunted. Kai. Q the Ghost Destroyer. Giga Gaga Gigo. My favorite card to say. Go Giga Gaga Gigo. Oh boy. Is that his name or is he choking? Should we should we help him? His soul long since collapsed. His body recklessly continues onward, driven by a lust for more power. He no longer resembles his former self. GG! In order to fight tremendous evil, he gained formidable power through body reconstruction, but lost his heart and his redemption. Ghost Destroyer! We were just talking about Gaga Giga Giga. Breaker, the magical warrior! When this card normal summon, put a spell counter, increase attack 300 points. Remove a spell counter, destroy one spell or trap card on the field. Okay. Chaos Emperor, uh oh. This card can only be special summoned by removing a light and dark monster from your graveyard. Pay a thousand life points to descend all cards in both players' hands and on the field of the graveyard. Inflict 300 points of damage to your opponent's life points for each card that's sent, to I've sent this way. Giant Trunade. Special Hurricane. Discard one card from your hand. Destroy all special summoned monsters on the field. So I get the feeling that they want me to summon Chaos Emperor so that I can send all of these to the graveyard and inflict damage and then attack directly? Hang on, is it all other? Send all cards. Uh, chat, this effect gets also gets rid of Chaos Emperor, right? I know this thing apparently had erratas, but I don't know what, wh where it's at right now exactly. I'm not entirely sure. Trunade? It's not a quick play, so I'm gonna do that. Let's see. 
This, the, all I'm asking is, does this card go away? Like, this card will go away as well with the effect. It's not gonna be enough to attack with it. Let's see, big numbers there. You can also just attack and destroy you for a piece of damage, but... Premature Burial. Giant Trunade. I think I'm supposed to set this. Hmm. Yeah, I'm guessing I ne would need to send a special Hurricane so that Breaker could go to the graveyard. That way I'd be able to... Yeah, I think maybe I'm on the wrong track with using its effect. I think I just need its attack power. Like, uh, hang on a second. I have to discard something? Okay. Let's try this. Breaker the Magical Warrior. Just, wait, 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 what am I doing? What am I doing? I just, I just said what to do. Discard that. Everything goes away. But then... But then that's not enough, you see? Check. Wait, why is this here? This is my card? Wait. Oh, that I see, I see. I understand now. We didn't, that's the trick. That's the trick. One of those cards was mine. Wait, what? Oh, I didn't pick the right ones? Yeah, that's not enough. Start over here, let me see here. Oh boy, these last set, uh, this is whole episode is just gonna be the remaining dual puzzles, unfortunately. There's not gonna be any FTK fun, I'm afraid. I might play more of this next time, because I was hoping to do, uh, finish these quickly, but that's clearly not happening. Um, maybe throughout the week sometime, I'll probably just, maybe, and then like next stream, I'm not gonna worry about doing too much or starting anything new for a while. Like, I still have uh, Don't Escape to finish, that's gonna be my story game. I was expecting to have that done this weekend, though. So let's see here. Let's see here. Giant Trunade. That's my card there. So if you use Giant... Maybe... Let me activate this. Okay, now they're just there. You're there. Breaker the Magical Warrior won't really do much for me. Premature Burial... Special Hurricane. Now, what can I get here? The Ghost Destroyer. Each time this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent's life points, you remove two monsters from your opponent's graveyard from play. In addition, as long as this card remains face upon the field, your opponent cannot remove any cards from either. Alright, well, that doesn't really help me. What's good? removing these from play gonna do? I want it all. The answer is probably True Nade this time. But. I think I need to be careful here. Hang on a second. If I discard... I don't... Wait a second. Wait a second. Okay, so hang on a second. Let me think here. Okay, so you get to stay on board. Your 1900 there, that's not only four, that's only 4,900. I can use True Nade, bring back. Wait a second. Wait, wait, wait a second. Wing Weaver stays on the field if I do that. And Breaker comes out, and then I can. Hang on. I think. I. Th I think I know what to do? Special Hurricane will get rid of you, but also Wing Weaver. But I don't know. I don't know, actually. I legit don't know. That 
That's my monster. They're all just here. How do I get rid of... Let's go destroy the monster. I think I need to get rid of you. Then... Maybe that's... No, I think maybe. I, I'm gonna try this. No, I don't know. I immediately just don't know. Hmm. How do I do this now? How do I do this? I genuinely don't know what to do. At all. Chaos Emperor can't... How do I get you off the field? Just But destroying... Using that spell counter to get rid of this doesn't seem like it's going to do much. Or will it? Hmm... <clears throat> special summon monsters, then let me get out of that. I need to, like... But I can't keep... can't special summon Chaos Emperor like that. I can't premature barrel it. Otherwise, that would be piss easy. Oh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. If I use spe special Hurricane, then all those cards go away. And then I'm not going to be able to use Chaos... I, I need to have enough cards on the field so that Chaos Emperor can deal the damage. I don't even know if the stupid thing will stay on the field when its effect activates. Oh, boy. The Wing Weaver gets removed from play. Hmm. I haven't got a clue. God dang it. Oh boy. I don't even know where to start with this one. Hmm. Because I, even if I have a, mo even if I manage to keep Breaker and Chaos on the field, that's not enough to damage the life points. I have to use Chaos Emperor's effect. That means a certain amount of cards have to stay on the field. And the Emperor Dragon removes itself when it does that, but then I can, but then I can't br use use uh, premature burial to bring back uh, to bring back um, Wing Weaver because Wing Weaver gets removed from play to bring out the dragon. Oh, this is confusing. This is very confusing. This, I'm gonna hear this music in my nightmares tonight. Well, this is what we get for reaching the final stretch of dual puzzles. Hmm. So now we got a single clue. Special Hurricane. Special Hurricane just will get rid of everything on the field. But, like, look. Let's try this. I get rid of Trunade for that. Boop, 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 boop. And I special summon Chaos Emperor. Come 
problem is when I do this. Yeah. Even when I do this, that's that's only 4,900. He still has plenty of life points left, or the AI does. So that's the issue here is... I don't know what I'm supposed to do to do enough damage. The damn even 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 if it does the damage from cards in the hand as well, is that really going to be enough with just that card? It destroys everything. Really points it's in all cards in both players' hands and on the field to the graveyard. If your points of damage your opponent's life points for each card that's sent in this way. I cheated and looked online. I was close, but it's very bizarre. I can imagine, like, these are the run, like, the last f f uh, four or five of them, I think? Let's see here. I feel like I have to use Breaker the Magical Warrior. I have to remove one card and see what happens with that. I'm, I, I might end up having to cheat, because I can't have this go on for like four hours, but I'm gonna try my best still. Ba, 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 ba. That's 96, so you're in the final five. Okay, okay, okay. We just we gotta overcome the puzzles, everybody. If this were a real a real match, though, I'd never win. Because you know why? Well, because first of all, the opponent has nothing in their deck in the graveyard. The match is already over. They're clearly clearly cheating. This is against the rules. But I also wouldn't be given, like, 20 minutes to actually figure this out. Break of the Magical Warrior, Wigweaver. So, I have two Dark Monsters. This one is technically mine, and one Light Monster. I can't revive the Light Monster after Chaos Dragon because it removes them from play, but... Yeah, you put in the field, the opponent cannot remove any cards from their gra in either graveyard from play. Yes, my opponent can't. So, but this is my card when I use it, but... As long as this card is on the field, by the way, on his side, I can't summon Chaos Emperor Dragon. Even if I got both of these in the field. That's the issue. This is really tricky. <laughs> I genuinely don't know. Start over here. Let me just evaluate again. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe I think Trunade might be what I need to start with. One, two, three, four, five. Boop, boop. So then we're left with these th these two, which can easily beat over. But is that enough? A special Hurricane. Premature Burial. Premature Burial the monster and attack into it. That's not gonna do much. Like, it's just. Ah, oh, there's just not enough. I want to give a hint, but I don't even fully understand the solution. Oh, it's that bad? It's that bad? Seriously? I don't like to hear that. Every time I. No matter what opening move I go with, I don't know at all. Why does the opponent even have a timer up there? It's just insulting. Special Hurricane. Do I start by removing the special summon monsters, or do I start by using... <sighs> do I start by using Trunade? Chaos Emperor. Like, you summoning this cuts off my access to the other monster. Okay, I, I, I just said... Bella, I know you're trying to help, but I have to remove Wing Weaver from play to summon the Chaos Emperor Dragon. So I can't revive Wing Weaver with Premature Burial. That's that's the issue we're having here. Alright, I'm gonna start with your need. Let's see here. I can put some cards back on the field, but still. Premature... Now we have the Ghost Destroyer there. Let's see. If I have to start with Giant Trunade there. Does reviving the monster gonna do me anything? It's gonna put it's gonna put something on the field, that's for sure. Hmm. <clears throat> 
What would Special Hurricane do now? It would get a... I already have the Dark Monster in my graveyard. So the issue now is... But now Breaker the Magical Warrior has nothing to do! Or does it? No, it doesn't. Special Hurricane would just get rid of both these monsters. Which I would have, could, should have just done at the start if I was gonna true nade. Okay. Alright, 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 alright. I, I don't know! Like, I don't know at all! Oh, this one is very frustrating. I'm very tempted just to look at the look look up an answer at this point. Hmm. Ouch. I what do I do? Okay. Seriously, you can just give me the answer. I really don't I don't think I even care anymore. <laughs> And nothing I do makes any sense. Oh. Oh. Feel free to let me know, because I, I genuinely don't know or care anymore. I just want this one done. Like, I want to finish these this stream. Mm. That's great. That's great. Uh, I don't know what to do. I think this is 96. So does anyone know? Anyone's looking it up? Because I'll, I'll get up myself at this point. Trunade, spe Special Hurricane, Discard Breaker. Okay, let me try. No, no one did. No one dumped it higher up. People were, uh, people who didn't understand the cards were guessing. Okay, Discard Breaker. Summon Chaos with Breaker and Wing, and then Premature Destroyer. Wait, what? Why would that? Why would that work? I don't understand. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Summon with Breaker and Wing. Decide. Attack directly and use Chaos's effect main two. Okay. Sure, Burial. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Destroyer. Okay, let me attack. Ow. Part of me didn't even realize I could main phase two Chaos Emperor's effect, to be honest. Hmm. Oh! Silly card. Dumb. Do I need to do that? I don't think so. Now let's see, main phase two. This. There we go. All right, fine. That one's over with. I don't even care. I wanted that one gone. All right, let's do it. Finish the last of them. Meteor Black Dragon. There we go. I'll carry on the Magnet Warrior. This card can only be summoned by offering Alpha Magnet Warrior, Beta the Magnet Warrior, and Gamma the Magnet Warrior. I might just end up skipping these last ones because I've honestly had quite enough of them. Each time your opponent activates a spell card, put a spell counter on this. Okay, that's not going to affect. Wait, you are your opponent? Okay, you are your opponent. Never mind. Tune table of contents. Oh, we're doing this, are we? 
Cartoon table of contents. I see. We're doing that. So, let's see. Reinforcements of the army. Upstart. Warrior returning alive. Sword of deep-seated. 500 when this card's in the graveyard. Place it on top of your deck. Okay. Graveyard. Marauding Captain. Last Magician. Each time you or opponent deck... Put a spell counter, remove any number of spell counters, destroy one face up monster with intact or equal to less than 700 times number of spell counters. Okay. They're both level 8. Wonderful. Alright, let's do it. 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 Alright. I guess Tune Table of Contents loop it is. Tune Table of Contents. Makes no sense for the, it to be in this deck at all, but it's in the hand now. This seems just like spam spells and you win. Yeah. Tune table of contents. Yeah, yeah. Tune world. Yeah. Tune world. Yeah. Let's see here. So, hang on. How does this? What's this again? Destroy a monster with an attack equal to or less than 700 times the number of spell cards. Okay, so three times 700 there is 2100, so we gotta keep going. Gotta keep going high. They're the same attack and level, so it don't matter there. So activate Tune World. Oh, that last one was really frustrating me. I don't like, I didn't like that one. Last Magician, Tune Table of Contents, Marauding Captain, Reinforcements. What else is in my deck here? Gear Free the Iron Knight, Upstart Goblin. Hold up a sec. Oh, I see, I see. Warrior Returning Alive, Upstart Goblin, Sword of the Deep Seated, Reinforcements of the Army. Level 1, or move 1 level 4, lower Warrior Time Monster from Deck to Your Hand. Alright, do this. Select a card list. Gear Free the Iron Knight. Okay, there we are. Gear Free the Iron Knight needs to be summoned. Upstart Goblin. Let's see. I tr to draw the last card, which is what? Upstart Goblin! But... Oh, I see, I see, I see. Activate Upstart Goblin. Draw Upstart Goblin. Then we activate... Not you yet. Sword of the Deep Seated. Attach it to gear for the Iron Knight. Yeah, that's right, we recover more. Then I use Upstart Goblin again. So now I have a card to draw. Yeah, that's right, go ahead, see if I care. See if I care, bro. See if I care. Then this time, I need to put Sword of Deep Seated on another monster. Launch your card, equip this card, and let's see. Now, obviously, I need to use Warrior Returning Alive, but on what? Marauding Captain. Excellent, excellent. Take you. Not that it... Ma, wait a... I was supposed to do this earlier. Gotta start over. Okay, let's give it a go. Let's give it a go again. I understand, I understand. Uh, Warrior Returning Alive. I need to bring him back first. Because I need to summon him with my normal summon, and then special summon Gear Freed. I see what they're going for. I see what they're going for. Then, let's see. Reinforcement of the army. Let's go ahead and get Gear Freed now. Gear Freed the Iron Knight is here. Perfect. Let's see. Then we summon Marauding Captain. Special summon the monster of the field? Yes, I will. Gear for your night. And next, we start the Toon Table of Contents loop. Because if I used Upstar Goblin now, I would uh, essentially brick myself for my effects. Toon Table of Contents has been drawn. Toon Table of Contents has been drawn. Wait, what? <sighs> Damn it! I accidentally... I, I thought I pressed down. God dang it. 
Well, time to start again. Are you happy? I'm happy. I'm happy to be here. I hate video games. It's all just blurring together. The field, the screen, the text. No, none to that. Reinforcements. Oh boy, let's give it a go again, I guess. You're free the other night. Decide. Yes, moments in chat, yo yo, calm me down. Thank you. We gotta we gotta stay calm. We don't gotta be delirious. I just can't believe it took this long. I really was hoping I could finish these much faster. Oh, if I knew it was gonna be like this, I would have just done them off screen, like looked up the answers. Oh well. Upload that this is gonna be uploaded anyway. People can skip it if they want. It's just the rest of the dang time duels. Anyways, with that, tune table is good. It's extra woozy right now. Do it for moments. Always for the moments. Moomin would woman would want me to duel and have fun. Moomin is a friend. Tune table contents. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Tune table of contents. Then we tune table of contents. And then we get tune world. Alright, I'm, I'm losing my mind. Absolutely losing my mind at this point. Isn't Toon World banned in this setting? Was Toon World ever banned? Was it too good or something? I don't know, to be honest. Let's see here. Upstart, sort of deep-seated. So, let's see, what's in the deck now? Just the one copy of Upstart. So, let's Upstart into other Upstart. In the anime, it made you basically unstoppable. Well, the anime rules are quite a bit different from the real rules. Anyways, uh... Now, I need to put Sword of Deep Seated on Gear Freed now. Then it gets destroyed. It goes to the top of the deck. Then we use Upstart to go into it. Now then, we're at nine. So hang on a second. I need. I'm sorry, chat. I'm getting tired. Let me. Let me. Let, let me do some quick mental math here. Seven hundred. Fourteen hundred. Twenty-one hundred. Oh, twenty-eight hundred. Thirty-five hundred. That's five spell counters. I counted on my fingers, so I can't be wrong. Now we use sort of deep seated on Marauding Captain. Or it really doesn't matter who I use it on. It's any monster except Gearfreed. Wait, wait a second. Wait a second. Did I? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, good. I thought it was gonna make me remove all of them at once for one monster. Just making sure. Meaty black dragon. And with this, I attack now. Oh boy. Okay. Ow. Alright, that's alright, we did it. We did it everybody. I didn't have to I didn't have to cheat this time. But gosh dang, I didn't I did not like number ninety six at, at all. Three more. Three more. Oh, that's is that a ritual monster? Go oh, no. <laughs> Legendary Flame Lord. Oh, you must also tribute monsters. Let's see, each time your opponent, you or your opponent activates a spell card, put a spell counter. Oh, I, I, f I guess I found what the next theme is. Put a spell counter on this card. Move three spell counters, destroy all monsters on the field except this card. All right, three spell counters. Three more. Hype. Wing Weaver, all right. Swords are revealing light. Hang on, is it, did it say monsters or cards? Destroy all monsters on this field. Sonic Bird, Graceful Charity, MST, I wonder what that's for. MST, and... There's my Ritual card. Oh, boy. Mother Grizzly. Sonic Bird. Oh, dear. Obviously, MST. 
Obviously, MST needs to go to that, but let's see. What do I... So, I'm assuming that I'm not gonna... Wait a second. I don't think I'm understanding something here. Um... If I... Wait, 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 wait. Summon... Let me see here. Salvage. Incant, Descent, Ordeal. Autonomous Action Unit. But I can't use Autonomous Action Unit because it costs 1,500 life points. Of course I can't use that. Look at it. Pay 1,500 life points. My opponent's graveyard. I am uh, very confused. So I have 100 life points. I need to attack with... Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. This is an issue. Because I can't... Like, what? I don't understand here. There's four cards here. And I can't get my... I can't get to... Can't for the life of me get from get the, the ritual spell. It's on the bottom. I can only draw three cards. So how do I get the ritual spell? Mother Grizzly can't get this thing out of the deck because it can only be special sp special summoned, right? I know I have Sonic Bird. Wait, wait a second. Oh, you're right. Chat, I thought this was Sonic Duck the whole time. I thought this was Sonic Duck. I saw Sonic and Wind, and I'm like, oh, it's just Sonic Duck. God dang it. I thought it was the duck. I didn't realize it was the bird. <laughs> Look at it. It's got a little oxygen tank on it. Or booster. I told you I'm tired. They're practically the same name. Which will spell in my hand. There we go. Sonic Bird. Part of me still sees it. Now I understand. I was completely confused before. That's, let's see. Graceful Charity. Let's see, four, four, level seven. So I gotta use the ones on my field, maybe? Both the same attack power. Graveyard has what, Mother Grizzly? So what do I need to discard here? Autonomous action unit for sure, and definitely, I think it's definitely Fenrir. Yeah, it's definitely Fenrir. I thought it was Sonic Duck. I'm sorry. They're completely different. Oh my gosh. All I looked at was the word Sonic. I'm sorry. Now let me see here. Just... Okay, let's do it. Duck is a bird. It's close enough. I completely forgot that there was another card called Sonic Bird that lets you add ritual spells to your hand. I thought, I thought it, Sonic Duck was just there to be discard fodder. Anyways, Mystical Space Typhoon. All right. These two cards are it. I wonder I couldn't understand the puzzle. Because I wasn't looking at the puzzle pr correctly. Card was sent to the graveyard. I can the effect. No, no, no. I didn't need to do that. Now I can use salvage to... Get two grizzlies. I do not need... Or do I, actually? Hang on a second. No, it's the same attack power, so I don't think so. I can special summon it, but then I just end up special summoning something from my hand anyway, so I don't think it makes a difference. I can always reset, it's fine. I can always reset if it's wrong. I thought it was Sonic the Hedgehog. 
MST is obviously for Swords of Revealing Light. There is no way that's for anything else. I need the spell counter. Do I? Or do I? Each time your opponent activates a spell... Wait, you or your opponent... Oh, right, I forgot. I need three spell counters on this thing. My bad! So I need to summon this thing right away. I thought I had to do it last. I completely forgot that part. Thank you. Chain, no, no, no. Let's see, ritual spell in your hand. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And that's where the real challenge comes from. Let's see, four, four. I need to get rid of these two, because he has to be summoned right away. No. At least this makes things a little easier to figure out. Get rid of Sonic Duck. And get rid of Mother Bear. Alright. Uh, obviously attack mode. Okay, alright, so um, it counts... Hang on. Did it count the ritual spell? It did. Let's see, legendary flame lore. Each time you or your opponent activate a spell card, put a spell card on this card, remove three spell counters. Alright, good, good, it gets one. And now we Graceful Charity. Need the chain yet. One, two, three. Alright, now, um... I'm going to need salvage. Or... Wait, wait. No, in this situation, I don't need salvage, right? I definitely don't need... Uh, this thing. Because salvage isn't going to let me do anything except summon Mother Grizzly. But instead, I can... But I need to activate a spell card. Don't I? Wait, no, I think maybe that's too much. Yeah, I think I need Fenrir, too. I think I that'd be overkill, so I think I'd get rid of Salvage. I can reset if I'm wrong. I can reset if I'm wrong. How long has the Yu-Gi-Oh! part of the stream been going? Uh, too long. <laughs> it's definitely too long. Just know that next time, chat, we can actually duel people instead of puzzles. I'm sure people are going to kick out, get a kick out of this episode regardless. I already thought that the entire ser series of this game was too repetitive, but people just love it. Alright, then. So now I can... Hold up a sec. I MST that. I've just been doing time duels this whole time, and slowly losing my sanity. I did too many at once. Alright, now I activate this. Let's see. Then I... Yep, this is exactly enough. Then I special summon Fenrir. We almost done. We almost done. This is like the last three, and they're infuriating. I did it, everybody. People demanded the AI have phrases while dueling, and they don't even get that anymore. See, I'm failing the people even more. Two more. All right. need a drink there. Okay, we're at 99 out of 100. Two more and we can finish today. Gosh, I was hoping to get to do some more FTK stuff, but no. The real FTK I'm doing is, um, doing all the homework all at once. Master of Oz, Big Koala, Jinzo. Oh, that's an all-star lineup for this one. Breaker, Reflect Bounder. Oh, no, not you. Attacked by a monster on your opponent's side of the field. So, okay, that's not gonna happen then. It's my turn. Monster Reincarnation, Monster Reborn, Rare Metal Dragon, Premature Burial. Alright, so Monster Reincarnation, discard Rare Metal Dragon to get Blue Eyes White Dragon. Okay, then Master of Oz, Jinzo. I can't use trap cards, but there are no tra trap cards in this. Or I can... <sighs> Hold up a sec. Hold up a sec. Wait, what? What effects do I have? Breaker... Okay, Breaker doesn't have a spell counter. His effect is moot. Reflect Bounder, that, his effect doesn't matter because the opponent is not going to attack on my turn, obviously. Kaiser Glider, this card is not destroyed as a result of battle. When this card battles, will attack the same attack. When this card is destroyed, send the graveyard return monster in the field to its owner's hand. Alright, so crash this thing into Master of Oz and lose. Wait, is it the same monster? 
Return one. Okay, okay. I can crash it into anything and then return Master of Oz. Let's see. Jinzo. Okay, crash it into Big Koala. Or, wait a second. Hold up. So if I crash this thing into Big Koala, it will be destroyed. But I can get rid of Master of Oz that way. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, uh, but now let's see here. Rare Metal Dragon, Premature Burial. I don't think I want to, but then I can... Hold up a sec. I don't think I'm understanding this. Check my GY. I, I already did. It's, it's, it's blue eyes. It's blue eyes in there. So... I'm not understanding exactly. Because I can't do things during my battle phase. I have to commit during my main phase one here. Reflect Bounder. I'm gonna need to sacrifice these two for blue eyes. I think that's what they want. Let's just, let's just go with it. Let's just go with it. Discard hand. Um, rare metal dragon, cause he's useless in my hand. This is my card. Blue eyes, white dragon. Okay, let's see how this works. Now we summon, cause these two, these two jokes are, joker here's are not helping. Second monster is Reflect Bounder. Most of these duel puzzles, you can look at it in a real in a real duel academy, by the way. And and the correct answer is always going to be should have been playing a better deck. Because all of these are terrible. What's Reflect do again? Uh, nothing, because my uh, only my opponent attacks it, and that's not going to happen as a part of the puzzle. So now. I monster- wait a second. Wait a second. No, no, I can't- I'm not gonna be able to destroy any of my mo opponent's monsters, and I can't activate these during the battle phase. So, I need to... Monster Reborn, Rare Metal Dragon now. And then I can... Am I? I think I'm on the right track. I'm getting too cocky, and I'm getting a little bit, little bit delirious. Chat, I'm just going crazy. Maybe I'll just, I'll, I'll, I'll go hug the Moomin pillow after. There we go. Rare metal dragon. So let's see here. So I need to attack into Big Koala with Kaiser Glider. Then I can return Master of Oz to the fusion deck. Then I crash Rare Metal Dragon in the Jinzo, and Blue Eyes w attacks and finishes it off. I think that's what's going to happen. Let me try that. Enter battle phase. Okay. Kaiser Glider attacks into Big Koala Friend. I lose 300 life points. Then, wants to return the hand. Wait, no, 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 wait. A and that goes away. Oh, uh, I think I made a mistake. Yep, yeah. yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. That monster's still there. I'm an idiot. I messed up. Yep. I'm gonna have to restart now. Attack this thing! Okay, we're gonna start over again. Let me see here. A boop, a bop, a bibbity boop, a boop, a boop. Let's see. When this face up attack position card is attacked on your opponent's side of the field by a monster on your opponent's side of the field, poor damage calculation. This card inflects damage to your opponent's life points equal to attack of the attack monster. Why do people keep telling me to use Reflect Bounder? Like, my opponent has to be the one to attack me. Is attacked, not when they do battle. I don't know. I don't get that. It clearly says that for the direct attack. Yeah, I should have brought it up for that part, didn't I? Oh, that's what you meant. I see. I thought people were trying to tell me to like crash into Master of Oz or something. I got you, bro. I got you, bro. Yeah, premature burial, burial was dead in my hand. I honestly thought I didn't have the life points for it for some reason. Oh well. See, I'm. I told you, Chad. I'm delirious. I'm tired. Rare Metal Dragon, then. I just forgot these. It's okay. Blue Eyes White Dragon. 
see Monster Reborn. Collect Mountain Country Glider. Now I need to summon Blue Eyes. It would end up with 100 life points. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Wait, what? Let's see now. Monster Reborn. Rare Metal Dragon. Yeah, Rare Metal Dragon. See, that was easy. I did it. I did it. This puzzle was so simple. Absolutely simple. Chat, my biggest fear is saying, hey guys, we're about to start the last puzzle, and then on the YouTube, the YouTube recording still has two hours left on the video. Let's hope that doesn't happen. Anyways, that's everything now. So we're all gonna have enough life points now when I crash Kaiser Glider into Big Koala. Do that. Ouch! And now we get rid of... Master of Oz. Here it goes. Let's see. Then we use Rare Metal Dragon to crash into Jinzo. Now that you said it's gonna happen. They went boom boom. Then Blue Eyes attacks into you. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I'll, I had it right the first time. I just, for some reason, brain farted and didn't think Premature Burial was going to work. 1700. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Succeeded. All right. Chat, this is the last one. Puzzle number 100. Oh, it already forms a big L for me. How sweet. Torrential Tribute. Monster is summoned. Okay, destroy everything. Call the Haunted. There's nothing in the graveyard. Invader of Darkness. Goblin Attack Force. As long as the card remains face up on the field, your opponent cannot activate a quick play spell card. Oh, oh, what? What are these random ass effects here? Spell Canceller. Dark Door. Both players can only attack with one monster. Alright. Torrential Tributes. Um. Wait a second. This is looks a little tricky, actually. Three hours to go. Oh, if it comes to that. Oh, I'm definitely going to cheat. It's nearly been three hours. It's like, oh god, it's almost 6.30. I don't even know how long I'm going today. We gotta finish this. Okay, so what do we do here? I have to be able to attack with both Goblin and... Oh, let's see, he has 4,700, so... Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so I have to be able to attack with the Spell Canceler plus any of these things activate anything. No, that's only 4,100, so Spell Canceler plus this thing would be... Okay, so Spell Canceler plus this guy would be able to wipe him out his life points. So that's what I need to get. I need to figure out how to sacrifice something to get Spell can Canceler on board. I think I know what to do here. We do that. Then we activate... Torrential Tribute? No. Yeah, I don't think this one's actually hard at all. I think I... I think I got it. Now I call of the haunted... Spell Canceler, and then just Monster Reborn the other guy. This is a little too easy compared to the last few nightmares. Wait, what? Wait, what? 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 All oh, right, I can't. Never mind. I canceled my own spells. I'm a, I'm a dummy. Yeah. All right. Your mom is sick. I, I, I ate my words. It's still easy. I just, uh, di I did the wrong thing at the wrong time. It won't be hard to reset up. Uh, let's see. Spell Canceler. Summon. All right, there. We do that. We activate Torrential Tribute. That's what I get. That's what I get. Now I don't need the chain. Boop, boop, boop. 
can I receive the Draven? No, 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 no. All right, so now I Monster Reborn the other... Yeah, I Monster Reborn the other dude. Let's see, Invader of Darkness. No, am I miss... Am I, I, hope I'm, I hope I'm not misunderstanding something. It's actually really difficult. Now that I've done that, now I activate... Um, hang on a second. Well, players only activate one monster during the battle. Okay, now I activate Spell Canceler. I'm gonna bring it back with the uh, Call of the Haunted. And I can just attack for game? Okay, I did it right this time. Invader of Darkness. I feel like there's like eight cards with that exact name in Yu-Gi-Oh. Here's how you make a Yu-Gi-Oh card. You make, um, the dark dude of the dark thing. Bam, Yu-Gi-Oh card. I did it, chat. All 100 are complete. I never want to do that again. Tomorrow is Sunday. Oh, make sure we save. Make sure we save. Can you imagine if it crashed after all that? Oh boy. That would be the most heartbreaking moment I have my entire streaming career. Alright. Okay, I'm definitely all Yu-Gi-Oh'd out right now. We're gonna go ahead and end it here. So, yeah, like I said, people can skip this episode if they want, but... Jeez, we got them all done. They had to be done. They had to be done. So next time, I can start ad just advancing through the game and using my actual deck again. But that's going to be it for Yu-Gi-Oh! That's going to be it for the stream. Hope you all enjoyed. Uh, once again, I'm going to be very busy this week. I have no idea when I'm going to be able to stream. Definitely not tomorrow. I'm definitely taking tomorrow. I'm, I got a grocery shopping to do, and if, I'm, if we don't end up moving because of the weather, I'm just going to relax. Oh, I pulled an all-nighter for the exam. All right, that's going to be it. Have a good night. Bye-bye.